Hello. So forgiveness is not just for others. It's also something we can do for ourselves. But before we do that, we probably need to practice a little self-compassion, cut ourselves some slack, and really give ourselves a little love. Self-compassion is a powerful tool for us to heal and can be more powerful even than holding ourselves in high esteem. While we have compassion for ourselves, we see all the wrinkles, the warts, and temper tantrums, and we combat that nasty inner self-talk that tries to keep us down. So let's do a short self-compassion meditation. Get yourself settled. Take a breath. Now, bring to mind a moment when your life is challenging and you're suffering. See if you can really feel the emotions and the physical sensations in your body. Where do you feel it? In your chest? Tension in your shoulders? In your belly? In your head? Try to feel those sensations that this brings up and really experience them. Now say to yourself, this sucks. It hurts. It doesn't feel good at all. Or maybe you just want to say, I'm feeling really stressed. These are all very human feelings. We all have them. Now, take a breath and put your hand over your heart. Smile gently and say to yourself kindly, may I be kind to myself? Ask yourself, what do I need to say to myself right now to show kindness? This might be a statement like, I'm a good person with an honest heart. May I learn to accept myself just as I am. May I find patience with myself. Now, maybe the next time you're feeling self-judgment has got the upper hand, or maybe the next time that you're replaying something that really got to you, take a breath. Put your hand on your heart and wish kindness and compassion for yourself. Now, here are a couple other exercises, writing exercises or journaling that you can try. So this first one is about treating yourself as a friend. Think of another time that a friend made a mistake or you know they were really struggling. As your best self, what would you say to your friend? Now think about the last time you were struggling or made a mistake. What does your self-talk sound like? Write it down in your journal. So you can draw it out of your head. The last time you were struggling, what does your self-talk sound like? Sometimes it kind of helps to think of yourself in third person, watching what's happening and taking notes. So once you've completed this, read over both statements. What does your self-talk sound like? And if you were your best self, what would you say to your friend in a similar situation? What are the differences? How does it make you feel? What could you do differently to treat yourself as a good friend? Now here's another one. Grab a piece of paper and draw a line vertically down the center. On the left side, write down all of the things your inner critic says about you. Use a voice that is from an other, so think of it as in second person. For example, you might write, you suck at playing guitar. You're so aggressive all the time. Why are you so down on yourself? You can't do anything right. You never remember to pick up the laundry. Now. Finish your list, take a breath or two. You might even put your hand in your heart again to give yourself a little courage. And on the right side, write your responses in the first person. 
I'm learning to play guitar. I feel like I'm assertive, not aggressive. I do many things right, and I don't have to beat myself up for the things that I don't do right, right away. I understand that there's a learning practice. Again, these are the things that you would say to a friend who came to you with those same questions. Now this process can be a lot harder than you might imagine. It's hard to stand up to our inner critic and have compassion for ourselves. But if we can be kind to ourselves and we can guide ourselves away from self-judgment and that nasty negativity bias, we can reduce the negativity and self-limiting beliefs that are hindering our ability to grow and develop and be our best selves. When we practice self-compassion, we can find that we're stronger, more confident, maybe because we've got our own back. We can stand. I hope that you'll try these practices. I know this was a little fast and I will put it on the blog as well so that you can just go and read it. But take the time to do these practices and cut yourself a little slack. What would your best self say to you right now? Thank you.